All right, welcome to part four of fingerboard geometry. Today we're going to talk about the third, uh, specifically the major third. Okay. Now the sound of the major third is um, this. You might identify it with the uh, folk tune for "He's a Jolly Good Fellow." think of something else, you can also use that. Um, now, there's two basic ways to play the major third. Again, you can play the major third toward the bridge, or you could play it toward the nut. Okay, So, if you play it toward the bridge, it's going to be on the same string. So, for instance, from every string, doesn't matter which, you skip, you play root here, and then you go two whole steps to your major third. Okay, So from this string, the major third will be here, so I just played a major third from each one of the pitches at the fifth fret. Now let's go toward the nut. Okay. Um, now, a major third toward the nut, you go to the next string and one fret lower, so it looks like this. Okay, and this will remain true for most of the strings. So it's the same from the fifth. It's the same from the fourth. However, crossing from the third to the second string, there is an adjustment for the major third. It would look like this now at the same fret, and then when you get back to the top two strings, it's back to normal. Okay, so now let's review that one more time, playing them in each direction. Major third from the fifth fret, toward the bridge, toward the nut, toward the bridge, fifth string, toward the nut, fifth string bridge fourth string toward the nut fourth string toward the bridge third string towards the nut adjusted third string towards the bridge second string towards the nut normal concludes part four of fingerboard geometry, the major third.